When do you know that your Hajj was accepted? It's quite simple. The Farad is done. But the broader acceptance of your Hajj is connected to your life having changed. If your life did not change and you came back and went into the same bad habits, what was the point of that Hajj? What benefit did you benefit? How is it that your sins are going to be forgiven when you haven't even quit them yet? So this is why in many cultures, when a person has fulfilled their Hajj, they call the person Haji. Haji Sahib, have you heard that before? You go to West Africa, they say Al Hajj, Al Hajj Muhammad, Al Hajj Ali, and so on. Al Hajj. Why Al Hajj? Why do they keep on saying that? You are no longer Mr. and you are no longer this, and you are now not even, they won't even call you brother, they call you Haji. In order for the honor of your Hajj to be given to you and the reminder that you are Haji, you are not an ordinary person, you have made Hajj, which is the fifth pillar of Islam. You have fulfilled it, remind the people. The reason is when you are reminded, the minute you feel lazy for Salah, you tell yourself, but I made my Hajj. I already went through a time when all my sins were forgiven. Let me go and do something better. Let me fulfill my Salah. Let me quit my bad habits. Let me not do this and not do that because I'm a Haji. I made Hajj. That would mean that if a person comes back from Hajj and is not bothered about how their life changes, it would be a loss.